high-end competitive gaming. Oh, it's really taken off the last few years and it's more accessible than ever. So much so, a lot of you guys have reached out to say that you want to move out of your dirty buds into maybe some more serious kinds of headphones, but then there's a problem. It's like, it's one thing to be able to hear the people you're playing against, but it's another thing to be able to yell at them too. You've probably noticed as well, but for the same money as headphones, you could get headphones and a mic combined. It's called a headset. Uh, here's one I made earlier. Don't laugh, this works. But since they also cost the same money as like a nice set of headphones, you'd hope that you'd be able to use them for music as well. I mean, do gaming headsets sound any good? Well, matey, I'm here to figure it out. So I'm actually trying something for the first time uh, and I'm still practicing, but it's super exciting. I picked up these freakish ears on a stand. So this is the mini DSP Hears, nice pun boys. It's basically a means of calibrating headphones and such, but I'm hoping to also record the headphones so you guys can take a listen as well. But the thing is, you know, you'll be listening through your speakers or headphones. So, you know, it's gonna sound like those for the most part. And also it's been put through the garbage compactor of content known as YouTube, which squashes things down. Look, there are so many grains of salt, right? You're literally gonna have to go to the hospital for sodium poisoning. I'm still learning how to calibrate and use this properly, so it's like a bit of a benchmark. Matey, it's the Herder 600s by old mate Senny. You know, recording these through these, you know, I, it almost sounds like it's getting a little bit of reverb or something. Again, I'm still practicing and, you know, it doesn't affect my final outcomes, just my attempts of hoping you guys can join in too. Now, if I'm just gonna claim gaming headphones, that means, mate, we gotta start at the ground floor. For the low, low price of $25.99, it's these no-name blue things. Base HD gaming headset! Bjor! Whoa, it's got a corded cable. It actually feels like a cheap shoelace for children's shoes. Ends in this array, you know, so you got mic, headphones, Huh? USB? Does this have USB audio? Nah, mate. It's got something even more useless. Oh, man, when you rock up to the LAN party, mate, and you bust this puppy out. Whoa! Whoa! It lights up. It's like two LEDs and like a crappy plastic housing. <laughs> Best bit. See how it shines through here? That gets right into the peripheries of your eyes. So any pair of headphones worth your money should have some sort of swivel in because our, like, our ears face forwards, yeah? They don't just sit on the, like that. They kind of angle in. These don't do any of that. In fact, they just flat out don't fit. They don't seal at all. They actually sit like this a little bit open and they are just the crappiest plastic. Look at that sprue bit there. Oh. Oh. They just come right out, don't they? <laughs> oh, baby, that's where the business is. They sound like a sock. But the microphone is amazing. So like this one time, someone dared me to eat four bags of Alan's Chicos. And I was like, you're on. And I spent two days on the toilet. I, I lied. I lied about the microphone. It's got that horrific buzz in it the whole time. There it is. <laughs> well, it certainly earned a free mojo session. <laughs> I get messages from you saying, make sure you go full volume. Oh, ye of little faith. I always go full volume. Whoa. They didn't like that at all. I mean, 20 something bucks. What a rip off. They absolutely stink. They're literally good for nothing. Eyeballs. Oh, no, no, it'll handle it. Oh, that's a shame. How many, how many laps? Oh, impressive. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. But hey, take a quick listen for yourself. So up next for 78 Aussie dollary dues, the Razer Krakens. I mean, these are trying to be pretty cheap. I mean, <laughs> they're just a symphony of plastics, but I actually really like these ear cups. The ears go all the way in. I mean, it's fake leather, obviously, but it's, no, no, no. I actually kind of like how they feel. Basic controls down there. 
and a microphone. Sound-wise, they're not bad. They're not bad. Like, the bass is pretty punchy, but it's a little bit woofy, and the top end's, like, pretty undetailed. <laughs> you know, critical listening, they not be, but, you know, they're cheap. Although, that said, the left side was quieter than the right side. <laughs> And, so, and like looking at our things, they were complaining about the exact same thing. So this is the frequencies of the HD 600s. See, pretty dang flat. A bit of a roll off in the bass. That's pretty common for, you know, critical listening kind of headphones. And down here, I've got what all this noise kind of means. You know, so down here is the sub bass. Here's regular bass. Most instruments honestly live here. And then up here is like cymbals and tit tit and tss tss noises and whatnot. And the higher the line is, the louder that particular section of the music is. And these graphs are things artings by the way like oh, such a good sight anyway let's have a look at the krakens yeah yeah <laughs> whoa, whoa. that's why the bass is really punchy because this high-end bass bit has got that big kind of camel hump in it and then there's a roller coaster over here whoa <laughs> but that bump there's good for games because you know like gunfire and such you know, kids love that but these guys aren't just a pair of headphones these have 7.1 simulated surround and actual Super fun. I mean, the app that I had to install to get all that to work was super annoying and intrusive. Wanted all my details and like a scratch off code just to enable 7.1 surround on what is a budget pair of headphones. Razor, but I gave it a try in Rust, you know, so I found a section where there was like the ocean behind me and like grass and I just spun my character around a whole bunch of times and with my eyes closed I could find where the ocean is and all these gunshots off in the distance. How tranquil But I was able to follow the noises and find the hateful people with the guns and then I died But then actual kicker the mic came bad So like I kind of lose track thinking about really important things like if a hot dog is a sandwich or not and like, if you ask me, it's totally a sandwich and I'll totally fight you about it, right? It's got this kind of crackle in the background. I'm gonna call it the crack and crackle. But if you took that out of it, it would actually be really good. They got their flaws, but they are comfortable and they are cheap and it does have the 7.1 surround. And also, it's very simple back end here. It's just got the split or you can just have the, the single thing. So it's just like a regular pair of headphones. And I think that's why the app is so important because it kind of activates a lot of those like surround features. They're, they're low detail, lopsided, but they're comfortable and they work. And heck, depending how cheap they are, why not? Take a quick listen. So for $138 reduce, mate, see, we're going up the ranks. I got some HyperX Cloud 2s. As someone who's got a lot of headphones, these things look like an absolute love child. <laughs> I mean, look, it's got the same support as Bear Dynamics, which I've been doing since forever, and the oval shape from a set of Sennheisers. <laughs> So, yeah, very, very fun because, you know, Bear Dynamic and Sennheiser being some of the oldest headphone makers in the world. So, yeah, maybe a little bit of burrowing going on. But in quality as well, this is metal, just like a Bear Dynamic. And i got to say, these are comfy. I, you know, they feel nice. Nice adjustment. I really appreciate the dots so you can get both sides the same. Yeah, that's like a Bear Dynamic. Very good. The red's a little bit weird, though. I'm not nuts about the red. I don't hate it but like, I don't like it either. Sound wise, I thought these were great. They're, they're quite balanced. So here's old mate Sennheiser 600s. I mean, that is really flat. A slight hump here. Again, you know, that just makes the bass a little bit punchier being gaming headsets, gunfire, missile. There you go, flat, flat, flat. And then kind of like a bear dynamic. Bear dynamics love doing that. I'm not sure what that's all about, but I don't find it ruins them. It's like a very, very specific spot. And uh, these don't bleed at all. Like they're, yeah, very well sealed. And I love the modular vibe to this cause look at that, boom, that comes out. These really do look like a regular set of headphones. If we get to the other end of this much nicer braided cable than the $20 ones, we find USB doodler. So you just got some simple controls here and literally you just go boink and you've got 7.1 surround enabled. No crappy Razer spec app or any of that sort of thing. You know, no settings to play with, you know, since it doesn't have an app. But man, the simplicity of this, I actually really vibe with it. And look, you can just get rid of it 
And that to me is a regular set of headphones and they actually sound good. I like them. I've had friends put them on and they went, whoa, I mean, value wise, it comes with this breathable egg bag. Keep your eggs fresh in that. But geniusly, spare pads. These got like the pleather ones, which is fine. I actually really like them, but these are felt ones. But more than that, usually these pads are the first things to let go. So if these go bad, you just whack these on. Like these will last forever. <laughs> the microphone is okay. It's all right. Even with this massive, like really fun looking pop filter, uh, I found it popped a little bit. But I mean, yeah, take a listen. So like my last job was working at McDonald's, but I got sacked day because I stole all the cooking oil and poured it all over the car park, mate. Turned into a drift rink, hey? People pulling in for Maccas didn't even know they were participating. Man, never seen a Camry slide like that. Straight into the lamp pole, mate. It was super mad. I really like these. I think they sound great. Honest, I mean, you know, the recording you're gonna hear doesn't really sell these as well as actually wearing them. You know, it's like a VR roller coaster versus a real one. But you know, take a quick listen. I really like these. Get a little more expensive now, mate, at 200 Aussie dollar doonies, the Steel Series Arctus 5s. Nice rotating cups, like that means they fit on your head better if we flip it around. Yeah, very good. Uh, retractable mic, which is nice. Cold mornings, eh, boys? So right out the gates, I do have to say they're really plasticky. I really don't like this headband. It's meant to be like a self-adjusting hockey spec, whatever. But I don't like it. And these ear pads, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. They kind of feel like the front seats of a Toyota Camry. You know, you want them to be breathable and easy to wipe down and that sort of thing. But they just kind of fall flat. They don't have a lot of support in them. And they're just, uh, I don't know. Like stuff like this wheel just doesn't feel too good. It's all just, uh, a sound, you know, it's conventionally good. It's just not super detailed. Uh, the top end is okay. Uh, you know, honestly, I don't find these better than the HyperXs. I'd actually rather the HyperXs. And they fit way better and they're way better built. But maybe none of that matters to you. Maybe there's only one thing you care about and it's disgusting. But I won't judge. Oh, RGB, RGB. With that said, this comes with a really nice app. And like, I, I, you know, I'm never gonna like make fun of people for RGB. It's a hobby, it's fun. It doesn't have to make any sense. Never mind that you can't see them when they're on your head. At least they don't shine into the sides of your eyes. I mean, that's a good thing. But the app made it so easy and fun to like play with the RGB that you know, I ended up really liking it. You know, it just ends in like a, a USB cable. You can use like regular headphone style for them, but it's got this, which is nice so that you can get your chat and your game balance just right. Just like with a little flick of this. It does move pretty easily and it doesn't actually feel that nice. Uh, and the mic is uh, probably one of the best ones. So like alert that cheese is just milk here. And I was like, I'm a genius. So I tried to make cheese out of farmers unionized coffees. And like there were so many toxins, I need a liver transplant. So yeah, it's got a better mic than the HyperX's. But honestly, whenever I pick these up, I never liked using them, you know, while testing. Just because they'll just... Uh, they don't feel like $200 headphones. Well, I wish I took the RGB away and just gave better headband and better ear cups. But that said, I know a lot of you guys really like RGB. I won't judge. Eh, they're not bad. They're just not great value to me. <laughs> Here, Jago Quick Lesson. So it's getting a little bit more expensive now and I got really high hopes for these next ones. These ones aren't closed backs, these are open back headphones and also the same company that made the HD 600s. I give you the GSP 550s. Also by old mate Sani. These are built like a what the heck. I mean, look at this, like aluminium parts. These ear cups are like really supportive and you can feel that they're, you know, 
sweat resistant, basically. <laughs> it's like for army people, but it's gaming. But they better be built like a tank, mate, because they were $337 e-doonies. That's HD 600 money. At least the cable's removable. You know, that's a nice touch. So these are full-blown open backs, which actually makes them really nice to talk with. You know, because I close backs, it's, I don't know, talk with your thumbs in your ears, yeah? Number one, you all look insane, because I know you're all trying it. But you know how you get a lot of your own voice in your head kind of thing. So like really noise cancelling headphones can do that, whereas these don't have any any of that boominess, so they're actually really nice to talk with. Unfortunately, our things didn't have a graph for these, like they didn't test them, so sorry I don't have that. But you know what the big problem is? The top end, I think it sucks. It all sounds all kind of crushed together at the top. It doesn't sound all nice, big and open. It's got a pretty good sound stage. Like sound stage is like the 3D effect, you know, how wide it feels. But, uh, I don't know. They don't even go that loud. I mean, where's, where's the other end of this? It's just got this button, and then it just like, you know, it turns into the USB. So most of these headsets, they come with an app of some sort so that you can control them and like do settings and whatevers and make them, you know, hopefully work better. So I was figuring that was what the issue was. I couldn't get Sennheiser's app to work at all. No, I was using my Windows gaming machine. Like all the others just plugged in and went. Installed, plugged in, off you go. Some needed an update, whatever's. Nothing. It wouldn't recognize them. And then right down to the end of it, the Sennheiser app wouldn't even open anymore. So I couldn't test the 7.1 surround. Maybe they just suck for music, but then they're amazing for gaming. Who knows? The big killer, they don't fit good. At least in my head, they pinch at the back of my ears. It's really aggressive. Like they. It's the hardest clamping headphones I've ever tried. And I've done all the crazy adjustments that they got, which flattens the top and uh, this adjust and oh man, I was so disappointed. <laughs> I really, I thought these were gonna be the ones that I keep. I was like, oh man, they're Sennheisers. They fit in with the horde of other headphones I got. But then they had that terrible app. I don't like that for the money. They shouldn't sound like this. They're not good enough. I prefer the HyperXs again. I put them on and go, oh wow, treble, amazing. That said, the mic is actually good. So like this one time I went down the shops, so I was like, oh mate, give us all the biscuits you got. And he's all like, yeah, like there's heaps of different kinds of biscuits, which one? And like, I wasn't even ready for that kind of question. And then we sat down and talked for 15 hours. You can hear it's a little bit crackly at the top end because all of these, I just smashed from the computer and immediately started yelling into the microphones. So I think with a little bit of adjustment, this would be the best microphone. It wasn't, but you know, it, it's still not worth it. I mean, for the money, for how they fit, ah, disappointment. Have a quick listen. So we're at the top of the tree now, like last ones. These were 550 Aussie bucks. The Astro A-Fitties, not cheap. And honestly, a lot of plastic going on, a lot. It's kind of got this rubber coating on it, which, you know, it feels nice, but over time that stuff usually turns into goop, but we'll see, who knows, maybe they got it better. These are metal, and like, I like the, the measuring lines, you can really dial it in to fit your greasy head. The controls are really nice. Wireless, obviously, they come with a base station that you can clack them into. Look, here it is. It's it's kind of like it's you know you get it. It's kind of it's kind of like that because yes, these are full blown wireless, but thankfully they got means to use them cabled style as well. So they're not cheap. There's a lot of plastic, but oh man, are they comfortable? <laughs> this shape just my ear fits in, and it just I don't know. These are just so comfortable. And look at this. You can easily take this off to clean them or replace them, and they just go boink back oh wow but how do they sound they're effing great <laughs> they're great you know again they're not crazy detailed you know a lot of these headphones are doing a lot of jobs and that you know changes how they kind of have to sound but man i would happily live out of these i thought it was great inbuilt means the mix your game and the voice really cool the kick thumps like it's uh, they got a, quite a good sound stage in terms of like how kind of big and wide they sound. And amazingly, when wearing them, they feel like open backs. Like you don't get that head talky business, which is a humongous plus. Like it's got that closed back, 
bass and punch, but with that open back, you know, chatting and talking vibe. The app is real nice. There's heaps of options and things to change, like noise gates for the mic. They synced up just fine. It shows you how much charge is left on the computer. Like, yeah, like well supported. But unfortunately, these had the, the worst mic. This one day I was jumping up and down heaps because like, I was standing in a whole pile of ants with thongs and I'm like, ah, ants, that's awful. And then I realized I could just not stand in the ants and then I didn't and then like everything was all right. Totally serviceable, but it's, uh, it's, it's woofy. I mean, you can see it's got that hump there. You know, basically all of these do that gives it that. But I mean, forgive the up and down a little bit, but for the most part, it's reasonably balanced. Take a listen. So, are gaming headsets any good as regular headphones? Yeah, yeah they are. We've got two winners. I mean, the A50s, I mean, I really like these. They're so comfortable and they were the best sounding by far in every single means. Mike's a bit of a letdown, but it's totally serviceable. Yeah, they're expensive, but yeah, they're good. And mate, I'd happily have the hypers, gladly. <laughs> for how much they cost, for how much value they are, for how versatile and like actual headphone like, you know, no wireless to worry about. You just plug them in and you use them and they got 7.1 surround, just like these guys. And I haven't said much about the 7.1 surround because it was just fun with all the headphones that supported it. So heck yeah, big fan of these. You know, the Krakens almost get a recommendation depending on how cheap you get them. You know, they're the least detailed, they're the most woofy, and one of the headphones was quieter than the other. But the mic ain't bad, it's got 7.1 surround, the sound itself is totally tolerable, and I actually find them reasonably comfortable. Eh, I don't know, under 50 bucks, why not? The Steel Series weren't bad, but they just sit in no man's land to me. You know, they cost more money than the Hypers while not sounding better and not being built any better either. Maybe that RGB matters to you, but if you're looking for like good, usable headphones that are versatile, just, ah, either get the 7s or save money and get the Hypers. And sadly, you know, the Sennheisers, I, these are the ones that I wanted to win. They were the least comfortable. They were the most disappointing sound wise, given they were almost the most expensive ones with the worst app like yeah the mic's not bad but that just ain't enough for me uh, well maybe i gotta try their other ones because these ones just didn't do it for me what a shame that just overbuilt and just undercooked but easily the best ones are these ones but that's it thanks so much for watching i hope this was useful in any sort of means you know big thanks to my patrons these stinky names right here one dollar a month i do extra vids 25 cents a video matey we're gonna look at my headphone hoard you know we've got the rack of the gods and the scrub tree so i'm gonna do a little bit of a rundown on why there's some living on the gods rack and why there's some living with the scrubs but i'll see you next time Think. Do you have anything to say about this current situation? How the year's going? Already, Frank, Frank, back up, back up.